Hey team, how's it going? This is Eddie Gray from the YouTube channel, The Modern Creative. And on behalf of PSP AudioWare, I bring to you my production tips. Today I wanna to talk to you about how I work with vocals. But let me show you how I like to create a small, medium, and large room to create an awesome vocal sound. Here we go. Go into the darkness alone. So you can see that there's a lot of vibe here. There's definitely something special happening. Let me show you how I break this down. Let's reverse engineer. We have three reverbs, large, mid, small. The mid and the large reverb are being sent to aux channels and that's how I'm working that. The small reverb is on the channel insert itself and this is where we create that initial space around the vocal. So let's take a listen to just the raw audio data. Go into the darkness alone. So first and foremost, this singer is awesome. Check her out, Georgie Wells. But when I turn on the PSP 2445, all of a sudden, now I'm using these beautiful algorithms. We create a small reverb like this. Go into the darkness alone. So if I just bypass this and you listen to the original, you're not going to hear that much of a difference. Go. But there's definitely a missing. Go into the darkness alone. Again, I'll bypass one more time. Let's add that right back in. Go into the darkness alone. So if we look at the settings, you can see that there is no pre-delay. We're just, we're just creating a different impression, right? The reflections are low. If we go into this extended menu down here, you can see that I have a high pass filter, right? There's not a lot of low information, not a lot of high information. I mean, even the width, I don't even have this very wide. And the point is, that you're doing something very subtle. I mean, look at the mix knob here, right? I barely have, let's say 15, 20% at that. The magic happens when the mid and the large come into play. Let me bring in bus two, which is connected to the mid reverb. Here we go. Go into the darkness alone where the time can run. So the setting's a little bit different. Why? I want to create some magic. So now the width is all the way up. You can see here that I'm adding some high to the signal. We're just making more changes. The delay or the pre-delay is at 24 milliseconds. This is going to come in a little bit after the original enunciation. Again, giving a little bit of clarity to that vocal. The decay is at two seconds now. So you can see that this is definitely sounding uh, just a little bit better. Without both of these, we have this. Go into the darkness. Again, pretty stellar as the singer really brings it. But now with the small and the mid room, we have this. Go Now you can certainly create this using different reverbs. This is just something that I like to do. But let's go to the last reverb, the large reverb. And this is where things definitely start to become just ridiculous, right? The decay time, five. You can see that there's a lot of reflection. The pre-delay is at 60. And I brought down the width all the way down to mono. You know, you can play with these settings, but more or less it's gonna sound pretty awesome. So I'll bring this in, here we go. Oh. So to me, this one really brings out the life of the vocal. If I just bypass all of these, you can see what I mean here. Find the perfect hiding place. Great start. Let's add everything back in. Go into the darkness alone. Where the time can run away. Find the perfect hiding place. All right, I hope you enjoyed this production tip. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.